and I wanted to talk about growing up in Detroit in the 60s and 70s, what some of your vivid moments from that period of history are. Well, first of all, I have to say that I had a very vivid uh, experience landing today <laughs> <laughs> at the airport. We came in from Chicago and got down, as you do, close to the ground when you're going to land, and then suddenly went back up into the air because the tailwind was too, was too high and everyone began laughing sort of <laughs> nervously. And then we went, went around and tried it again. It was also very, very dramatic. Well, the publisher and, has to uh, get you to all these cities. I was right? thinking that's it, you know. <laughs> Publish the book, number three, and that's, the, that's all there's going to be. <laughs> well, I just was annoyed after a while that I always had to use Anglo-Saxon names for my characters. That was the that was the first thing because I started writing stories and they would be about Shelby or you know or Horton or something like that. And I'm half I'm half Irish Kentucky hillbilly, so that's that's part of me too. But why you know why would it be so odd to have Greek names? So I started just using what what was there, and then of course with Middlesex I found that my history was quite useful in, in telling this, this this epic tale that, that I told. So I, I did it mainly because because the material was rich. Once you look back, you can say, well, we all became writers, published, published writers, but it, you know, they were just your, your, your pals. Your pal, you have a rice pudding with or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 can't, you know, I can't say. It didn't feel anything like, like what it was in the apprenticeship period mm -hmm. of, of sharing work with, with writers and trying, trying to find our way. In terms of the basic material of my novel, Things haven't changed at all because I'm writing about college love affairs and the difficulty of college love affairs. And I've read the book to college audiences now, and they re they relate to it in a very immediate way. But the obvious difference are technological, the internet, cell phones, things like that. I don't think that really matters as much as, as people think it does in terms of one's experience of life. I didn't mind taking a while to figure out what I was going to do with my work, but. It started to be difficult to go to parties and say, that, you know, what do you do? I'm a writer. What have you published? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> and all of you young writers out there, it started, hey, it started to be, you know, just a little bit embarrassing. So finally, when I got a couple of stories published, I was, I was relieved that I at least could say the name of the magazine and force, forestall further questioning it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming.